Well, hey, here's Mr. Castine. We run into Orphan Iron out here at the Lodge uh, factory store. So you guys go over and check out Orphan Iron on TikTok. Then look who else we ran into over here at the Lodge factory store. None other than Cast Iron Savannah and Honey Badger both. Wow, it's good to see all these guys. And we're here at Lodge uh, Outlet Store today. We're going to go in and check that out and show you guys how awesome this place is. So if you guys are ready for that, let's go. Well, here we come into the outlet store. Yeah, buddy. Good morning. How are good you? Good morning. I'm good. How about y'all? Oh, doing real good. All good to right. see y'all. Good to see y'all. All right, let's take a look around and see what all they have in here today. Here's their Black Lodge, Black Lodge Edition. So these are always a little bit lighter than the regular cast iron skillet. And then they've even got some green egg stuff displayed here too. Big green egg, got a big display. So that's really cool. Oh, and here's another display of some cast iron griddles and pans and things like that. But over here is their discounted section. And you can get these at a huge discount and there's usually very little if anything wrong with them. There may be a small blemish or something like that, but anyway, uh, big discount on stuff like this. Got some enamel Dutch ovens there. Here's a little bit more of the green egg stuff and display. Over here on the wall, we've got some charcoal starters. And gosh, they got all kinds of stuff. Some cooking books and some tongs, some pans for Dutch ovens here. We got some, oh, a cast iron mug. I may have to get me a coffee cup. Got gloves and all sorts of a, assortment of accessories and things. Also we got a little bit of some rubs over here on display and different things like that. And as we move back over here, of course, got a bunch of Dutch ovens and different things like this on display, too. <clears throat> Man, this is, this is <laughs> cast iron heaven here at the factory outlet store, South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. Move along back here to the back wall. Of course, we've got some big skillets here. These are the 15-inch skillets here that are 50% off and all sorts of things, man. I, I could get in trouble real easy here with Mrs. Cast Iron, that's for sure. Oh yeah. Wow, look at this shelf back here of all this stuff that's on sale, discounted, factory seconds. Move right along here. Wow, it's just amazing at all the stuff that you can get. I mean, anything you can imagine that Lodge makes is here on display. That is so cool. Here's Mrs. Cast Iron already caught up with me already. She's got some things in hand, but I haven't even got started yet to shop a little bit. So. Oh, she's saying we need to go get a basket, so. But uh, these pizza pans are real cool. They've got them on sale for $17 here. So we may have to look into that and we'll move right on along through the store. Come back over here on the back side over here and they've got all kinds of uh, sauces, barbecue sauces and different things on display from different folks. So moonshine madness, look at that. That ought to be interesting. But anyway, you got the little basting pans up here with the brushes and everything for barbecue sauce. That's really cool. Got all kinds of little accessories here for the barbecue uh, grills and stuff. And we move right on along here. Here's some really cool things, some carbon steel uh, skillets and grill pans and different things like that. Man, they've really got it decorated in here nice, too. I mean, they've got all kinds of things up on the uh, arbors here and on display. They even got some Finex stuff over here, too. So, you know, in case you didn't know, Lodge had bought out Finex several years ago, but they've got quite a bit of their uh, skillets and Dutch ovens and pans on display here for sale. Here's a nice ladies at Lodge. 
Good to see them. Yeah, we'll move over here. We got some more grilling items here for grill pans and different things, smaller uh, little smoker pans that you can put in a grill there too. And some combo cookers over here. Chef collection. Man, how cool is this? All right. We'll move around over here to another display. And here's some uh, cast iron skillets on display here that actually have the South Pittsburgh Factory Island Store uh, logo on the back of it. So we may have to check into that just to have for a souvenir. <clears throat> Come back around over here. Here's their wildlife edition. Uh, a lot of the pans have uh, some form of uh, some kind of hunting, fishing, or camping. There's one with the uh, deer, there's one with the bear, and so several different things for their wildlife edition. Here we got some uh, splatter, splatter guards, also got some uh, trivets here. And another big display here of a starter set. We've got the new uh, cast iron uh, Sportsman's Pro Grill here, which I have one I'm gonna be demonstrating here in the future. So you guys hold on for that. Got the Lodge cast iron uh, cook it all here, which I've made videos of before. So you guys have that. And then here is also their cook off grill that they they're have on display. So we're going to look into doing a video with those soon. So you can get all kinds of things for the outdoor and for camping. Here's some items for a storage. If you want to use that underneath your countertop or cabinet, you can add uh, this to put your cast iron in and store it away. And here we go with some Boy Scout uh, cast iron with the Boy Scout emblem and logo on it. So that's really cool. That's where I initially got started other than my mother. I got started uh, uh, cooking in cast iron. I remember we had a uh, jamboree for the Boy Scouts and uh, we were cooking in uh, cast iron at the Boy Scouts. And so we move right on along, a little bit of display here. Here's a lot of little goodies that you could add to uh, your collection if you want. Here's some grill pans and uh, here once again is the bicentennial nickel, uh, buffalo nickel skillet. That's really cool. So, but man, I tell you what, this store just goes on and on and on with stuff. There's so many things that you can get from here. If uh, you have anything in mind that you're wanting to cook in, they certainly have it if it's made in cast iron. Here's some more grill pans. There's some square uh, glass uh, covers. Uh, certainly need those from time to time. Here's the smaller grill pans. You got angled grill pans, different things. <clears throat> Move on along here. We got some more grill pans here. And some smaller uh, Dutch ovens, and uh, those are certainly neat with a lid. Got the fish fryer there, or chicken fryer we call it. And here's the Rosie Riveter pan that come out that they uh, put on the market just a couple years back. And so that's really cool. Here we got a whole bunch of trivets over here, different kinds of trivets. Uh, there's a red rooster, there's the, uh, the original lodge uh, pan with the uh, skillet design and with the egg, their uh, logo. So that's cool. There's one with the deer antlers and everything. So certainly can pick those up as well. They've got some apparel here for kids. They've got aprons and different things like that. Certainly have all the Dutch ovens that from any size you go from small all the way to the large. And of course these are the regular Dutch ovens that you can cook on an oven in home. Now they do have the camp Dutch ovens which have the three legs on them too. Certainly can 
find anything and everything that you can imagine that is cast iron, all the way down from a two inch skillet with lids. Here you have serving skillets, and then they just go up from that size on. And so it's just, uh, this has just been a dream for me to come over here to see this kind of stuff and to be able to look at what all they have and to be able to pick up some things for me and Mrs. Cast Iron. Now, here's one thing is a tower rack that she's been wanting to do to be able to store some of the cast iron that we have. Of course, it certainly wouldn't hold everything that we have, but it would uh, certainly help, I'm sure, for storage. Then on the back rack back here, they've got a lot of their enameled Dutch ovens. Uh, you know, I know she's uh, been wanting that one right there, the black one, but they have several different colors to choose from. And uh, I'm kind of partial to that red and black, but anyway, and they start from a smaller size, move on up to a larger size. And so that's really cool. <clears throat> My goodness, there's just so much here, folks. If you've never been to the Lodge Factory Outlet Store, in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. You need to come by and check this out. Whether you go to the Cornbread Festival or not, you need to come to their store because they have tons and tons of stuff to choose from here. And uh, we'll kind of move right on along here. We've got some smaller little pans, little, um, little serving pans and different things like that. That's really cool. Here we go. And here we go with some more right here. We got the different kinds of baking pans here. We got a regular pie pan, it's fluted pan, and just a regular cake pan. That's certainly cool for the bakers. Now here you have the casserole pans, the pizza dishes, the pizza trays, and different things like that for baking. Uh, we'll come on over here a little bit. We got the bread pan, uh, the uh, corn stick pans and wedge pans and just so much to choose from here it's just amazing I mean they start out from real small muffin pans go into their lodge uh, cornbread wedge pans and then uh, I guess you could have these as a, a biscuit pan or a cinnamon roll or whatever you choose to make in that and of course naturally the loaf pan to either make bread in or you could make a meatloaf or whatever so Certainly plenty to choose from there. Here's some other additional accessories too. And then as we move toward the outside, of course we've got the checkout counter here and they've got a bunch of jellies and jams and different things here at the uh, checkout counter. So that's so cool. And then also here we have some cornbread pancake mix, a uh, little display here. Then Myron mixing, we've got a display here of some uh, rubs and things like that. Move on along, We've got some pickled okra and, and uh, pickles and different things here at the display right before you, you exit out the, the door. So anyway, we just wanted to share this with you guys. Like I said, if you've not ever been to the Lodge uh, outlet store in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee, you need to come check that out. And we appreciate you guys. You guys have a great day. It's Mike over here at Mr. Castine.